Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Trails of Dawn 2 Crimson Sin. Last time we started the post game, and uh, now I loaded my save file back before we did all that, back in the uh, RMS School Festival. And now, because uh, I promised, someone asked very politely in the comments, and I said that I would uh, do Quatra's uh, character event or connect event. It says here Quatra Secret, so it could be, uh, I don't know. Let's just uh, do it together and find out. This is probably going to be the only one I do. So, yeah. I felt bad when the person asked because it was after I uploaded like the first one. But by the time I uploaded the first one of me doing these connect events, I'd already finished it. Like I finished doing all of them. But I felt bad, so that's why I'm going back to do it now. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do any other characters ones. Uh, like Quattro returned to the office suddenly because apparently he had uh, something he had to do. And he wasn't coming back to the festival and there was no like word from him, so Van went alone just to check on him. Hmm, it looks like he's back in his room, uh, did he, like, forget something, uh, like, did he forget to bring something, uh, to do with, like, the festival or something? He seems to be kind of, uh, hurried. Maybe I should, uh, at least, like, ask him what's wrong. <laughs> I'm so happy that all these people are watching me. Man, live streaming's the best, uh, come on, keep the follows coming. The hell? What's this, like, weird, like, showy voice? No way he brought a girl back to his room with him, did he? But wait, this voice is... Alright, uh, thanks for calling in today, everyone. Uh, like everyone in Edith. Uh, keep supporting the Quattro channel, please. Uh, Quattro, I'm coming in. God, he's not a VTuber, is he? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, he is. Van? Uh, no, you're wrong. This is a... <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. The up-and-coming net idol. Uh, the science girl, Katorea. Quatrea, whatever. I heard that there was something like that on uh, the, the Orbital Network recently, and that it was... Uh, whoever it was was getting, like, real popular in the past few weeks, but... I think that uh, it was actually you. Uh, yeah. You see, uh, like, streaming yourself uh, through the Orbital Network is, like, being seen as uh, entertainment by more people. I developed an interest in it myself, so while I'm, like, researching the latest technologies, I decided to try it using my own uh, homemade uh, model. <laughs> and you ended up getting hooked on it, and then a lot more people ended up watching you than you thought, right? But it sucks to that, uh like, live streaming event that was limited only to the Capitals uh, Orbital Network. Had to, like, clash with uh, the School Arts Festival there. So you, uh, had to, like, find a time to sneak away and come back here, huh? Yeah, sorry, I'm even using, uh, the, like, network from this office to do it. Why are you apologizing? Knowing you, you've probably, like, made it so that, like, no one can track you through this. But live streaming, huh? Feels weird, like, a few years ago, uh, You'd never have thought that would be a thing. So you're using Theo to scan your facial movements in real life, and then syncing it up with uh, the model on your screen then. If this takes off, then a lot of different types of media might be in peril. Actually, maybe not. Uh, they'll just have to like find their own way of kind of uh, moving forward, I guess. What's wrong? Oh, uh, you're right, yeah. Sorry, that was kind of rude to you, Van. Like, acting like a girl and uh, doing these live streams behind your back and stuff. I thought that if you found out that you'd laugh at me or think it was kind of weird. Yeah, well, I mean, I was surprised, sure, but, like, in a good way, though. Everyone has their own things that they're into, and, uh, like, this is just kind of your style, I guess. I mean, I get why you'd, uh, be scared, though. <laughs> Thanks. It's not like I started this because, uh, I was like, uh, dissatisfied with myself or anything. It really was just, like, because I was interested. Technically, I'm both a male and a female. But since my, like, boyish parts were more prominent, uh, ever since the professor adopted me, I've been uh, living as a boy. 
and I'm attracted to cute girls as well. Although uh, now it's a bit more than that, but but sometimes I wonder, like, what would it have been like if I decided to live as a girl instead? I guess you're the only one that can really like think of things like that. Actually, uh, maybe not actually. Yeah, there's so many people in this world, and each have their own like sense of values and way of living. So that's why I wanted to try thinking about my own like possibilities more kind of uh, optimistically from now on. I see. You really are something, uh, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, uh, you got time, could you like uh, stay with me for a bit? I'm not making you do this because you like found me out or anything, but that's something I've been wanting to test. After that, uh, Ban went with Quatra to a certain place. Uh, Van, uh, <laughs> sorry for making you wait. Oh, no. He has become his VTuber. Oh. This is the fate that all VTubers share eventually. Uh, how does it look? Uh, this is my, uh, high quality, uh, Katorea, or Quatrea, like, uh, full body model. This is my first time, like, uh, going into it, though. So, uh, there's a lot of things I don't really get, but I, it, it's not weird, is it? Nah, I'm honestly uh, still just surprised is all. <laughs> but I can tell it's still you in there, Quatra, but at the same time you feel like this, uh, like this Quatrea person, too. <laughs> it must be because I used uh, data and AI from the fairy tale garden to make this. I made it so that I can edit my, uh, like, scan model that I've been using in the garden up until now. And using, a uh, deep learning. Uh, with the AI, I made it, like, simulate what it would be like if I was a girl. That's what you're seeing here. My god, technology really is something, eh? Because of, like, issues with processing power and, uh, like, synchronization, uh, right now when I'm live streaming, I can only, uh, like, move, like, uh, above my chest, but... Uh, eventually, though, it should be possible to, like, perform a dance and have my, uh, model, like, synchronized so it does it, too. Although I'm not sure if I'd actually do that there. <laughs> that would certainly be interesting to see. But my god, you really are a researcher, eh? Once you uh, get started on something, you pursue it till the end. <laughs> well, uh, until like a little while ago, I thought about everything way too much and uh, never ended up actually like trying anything for myself, but... But now I know that I can become anything I want. And that's thanks to you guys, Van, that I noticed that. So, thanks again, Van. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be saying... Thanks to just me alone. Well, keep on trying things out for yourself and like settle into your own style, okay? And if you're that popular, then maybe you should uh, become an idol or something like that, eh? <laughs> I kind of just like went all out uh, with like my performance and that's how I ended up getting uh, so popular, but now it's hard to stop acting like that on there. I feel like uh, this is like slowly starting to become the real me as well. Actually, maybe we could make you the, <laughs> the overworld, like, uh, poster girl of the resolution office. Nah, maybe you'd stand out too much, but actually, if we're going to be expanding, like, what we're doing, I could maybe think about it. Uh, wait, you're not seriously considering it, are you? <laughs> After that, Van just spoke casually with Quatra's avatar, and then they uh, returned to the real world. Uh, okay, so, uh, that live stream you just got done doing was, like, your last one of the day, huh? Yeah, so after this I should be free to hang around with you guys, Van. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Nah, just looking at you like this again, uh... This, this quarter really suits you as well. <laughs> hmm, well, of course it does. Oh, actually, leaving that aside, uh, about today, uh... I know, you don't, want me, you don't want me to tell anyone, right? You don't have to tell me, uh, like, so don't worry. Although, if you keep on getting more and more popular, Anya's and the others will eventually find you, I reckon. Oh, really? I guess that's possible, huh? Oh, God, if <laughs> if Aaron finds out about this, oh, I don't even want to imagine. Maybe I should uh, change my model so it doesn't look so much like me. Wait, no, but then I'll lose fans and I might get flamed. Uh, sorry, I wasn't trying to make you uh, so worried with that. <laughs>
After that, they went back to the arts festival and uh, reunited with their friends. その。どんなあり方でも僕を受け入れてくれて本当にありがとう。バンさん。これからも僕なりに自分のあり方は探っていくけど見ていてくれると嬉しいな。Oh, he was like, uh, thanks, Van, for accepting me for, like, whoever I am. And then I think he said, like, I'm going to keep going forward to see if I can find something, something about myself. I don't know. I already forgot. Whatever. That was nice. Thank you to the person who recommended that. That was uh, quite interesting, too. But who would have thought playing Trails in the Sky, like, over a decade ago? Uh, <laughs> like, eventually we'd have, like, live streaming and VTubers in this, uh... In this series. But anyway, I'm gonna meet you back on my other save file, so yeah. Alright, I'm back. I didn't realize the same music played here. Yeah, I just got done going to the hot springs uh, to get my CP back after the last one. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know how many floors there are gonna be. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, because like there wasn't even any cutscene uh, after the after I cleared the last floor. I know in Reverie, Reverie's post-game, there was like a cutscene every time you finish a stratum. But it's a little bit, uh, not worrying, but weird that, uh, there isn't one. Okay, so we got floor 11. Oh my god. Yeah, let's uh, just go in the middle, why not? It doesn't really matter. I should probably try and, like, bring in some new characters. I don't want to just be using the same guys over and over again. Us? Yeah, I think we've been here. Let's uh, let's get Judith in here because she's pretty good in uh these kind of fights. Let's see here, I want to get let's get uh these guys. I guess they weren't getting experience because they weren't in the party. They'll probably level up real quick. Oh, I'm keeping Shizen in the party. Let's get Fee out. I don't think I've even bought new weapons for these guys. They're probably going to be pretty weak, but oh well. Let's put those Judith. I was actually worried for a second, or not worried, but I was almost disappointed because I thought we were going to get to use uh, Quantra's VTuber avatar in the garden, but since I wasn't keeping that save file, I was like, oh no. Because uh, that would have uh, that would have been pretty fun to like, run around uh, using that, but I guess... It, they probably, they, I mean, they wouldn't want to give it to him for a few reasons. Like, one, he doesn't want people to find out. And two, it would only work in the fairy tale garden. Yeah, Judith's really good in these, uh, battles too. I haven't been using her enough, but as I said before, it's just... But the thing is, I, I don't know actually how many of these, uh, fucking pieces of equipment that raise your, that, like, regen your CP, like the one I got in the band. I don't know how many it gives you, but... I don't think it's enough. Because, like, honestly, Judith would be really good if she had some kind of reliable way of uh, regening her CP. Because for her to do any damage, she needs to be a grim cat. And that just uh, doesn't work. Why is she doing, like, no damage to this guy? <laughs> Now let's see how much uh, this does. Yeah, they are weak to that. I don't know if it does more stun damage. It doesn't look like it really does a whole lot. Kind of feels like, what's the point? I mean, I guess these, like, field arts are probably pretty cheap now since, uh... They were pretty cheap at the start of the game, and uh, we've only been getting more and more CP. Oh, damn, does this guy really have 60,000 HP? Man. He doesn't even seem like a big enemy either, so the, the big guys are probably going to have even more. Bruh. We got these worms as well. I hate these guys. What are we even doing? Is it just killing, um... It's killing, like, middle class enemies. So yeah, these, these guys are middle class. Alright, there we go. I killed, like, three more of those guys. Celis is not leveling up. I thought that she'd uh, be like caught up in like a few fights, honestly, with how like the experience works in this game. 
Maybe it kind of falls off at the end. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even be using her. At the very least, I probably shouldn't have her in my active party. I'll get she's not in. Oh, wait, I'll get Aaron in. We've used uh, she's not enough. I, I do want to use uh, the church guys there. Just because they haven't had like a lot of story kind of usage. Like, we only really used, uh, used them in Chapter 1 and then in Chapter 3 with uh, Rion. That was it. Yeah, uh, this guy is, he's one of these guys, so he's gonna... Oh, maybe not. Maybe... I can't remember. Does this guy, like, home in on you when he does his, uh, charge attack? And I still can't get over just how much damage this fucking attack does. Like, stun damage as well. Boom. Alright, there we go. I ended up just using uh, Azure Glow to take care of the like, golem guy. He was pissing me off with his 100,000 health. God, the, honestly, like, even though they have less health, it feels like these stupid spirit guys that I've, that I've had to kill five of so far have, like, or, like, way harder to kill just because they take less damage. They take, like, half the damage of everyone else. We got a new enemy over here. I'm deal with... Oh, God, yeah. Gotta get used to these guys' attack timing. Actually, I wanna kill this guy first. Bruh, Judith got instant death there. That was annoying. Ooh, a thing for Zane. Two of them, in fact. I think that's the first time I found two in a chest. Not bad. Uh, there's no point killing these guys. God damn it. Why is there only one type of enemy that gives this to me? It's like the hardest, the most annoying one to kill. Oh, there we go. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I want to check. I just want to run around this place real quick and make sure that there isn't a, uh, all these are pretty useless, honestly. Just make sure that there isn't another one of these enemies that I could be killing instead. Doesn't look like it, no. It's just these guys. That is annoying. I'll be sure to avoid this objective in the future. My light is flickering, I, which is bad because there's like... Hold on. Yeah, there's six light bulbs in this damn place. And, uh... This one says to kill monsters, and this is to break objects. Yeah, I'll do this. There's six light bulbs in my place. I've moved in, or I've been moved in since like September. Or like late September. And already uh, four of them have gone out, which isn't very good. So if these next two go out, then I'm kind of fucked just a little bit. I mean, it's my fault. I could just be going down and, like, telling the fucking landlord about it, but... Too lazy. I don't want to talk to my landlord if I don't have to. Dude, Zane is pretty fucking strong when you get the hang of them. I like playing as him a lot. Yeah, it, it does look like all these areas, though, are just kind of recycled. I'm pretty sure this was like the third and fourth stratum, this kind of area. And uh, the, the music too is the same, I think. But yeah, actually earlier I just got done uh, recording the, well not recording, <laughs> uh, editing the finale. It took fucking ages because I had to do like, probably like two anime episodes worth of like fucking uh, of subtitles, like goddamn. Like, the ending was straight up, like, 20 minutes worth of subtitles. Which, honestly, is less than I thought. When I, when I was starting it, I thought it was going to be way longer, but no. Oh my god, these enemies are messing me up. You know what, Judas could for lots of enemies like this. Because look at that. Look at the range on that scratch attack. Look at this. This is why I fell in love with Judith in the first game. I don't know why I haven't been using her in this game. <laughs> Like, even if she's not that good in boss fights, she's still amazing for just dealing with these guys. I'll take that treasure. Oh, the music stops when you open a treasure chest. Bruh. 
I feel like she's not really doing that much damage, but... I should be doing this more to, like, maximize my damage. There we go. Oh, fuck. That was not... Oh, no. That's a lot of turns. There we go, that's what I'm fucking talking about, Judah. She just made fucking quick work of these guys. Yeah, after that I actually uh, lost Judith and Van in the fight, but... He's already back to full CP it looks like. There we fucking go. Is that good experience? Yeah, decent. And I forgot, my objective is to destroy these silly crystals, not, uh, fight these guys. But yeah, I'm feeling fucking good after editing the finale because nothing else. Oh, oh actually, it might do like because I wasn't expecting this. Uh, like I might have, I might end up having to do subtitles for the finale of the post game too. Like right, that's looking pretty likely. The fuck is all this? This is like this is like early game equipment. What the hell? Uh, what is it this time? Kill small monsters and only eight of them. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That won't take very long. Why? What the fuck? Was that a charge attack? How did... I'm still at 3,000 HP, bro. Alright, I guess you can die. That was weird. I've never gotten to attack first after getting, uh... Fucking, uh... Like, getting first strike, struck. First struck? Yeah, and Van's almost back up to full just from the AI fighting. God damn, let's go. Dude, I'm running out of EP for healing though. Fuck okay, it, you can do that, Van. Because I cannot be bothered anymore. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that fucker. I'll only deal with them when there's like a big bunch of them like this, because then it'll be quicker. Oh, these guys found us. Fuck. Retreat. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop going for chests too, I reckon. I mean, you can get, like, those stones to help you upgrade your shit, but... I feel like it's not really worth it at this point. It's not like... Like, they do help if you... You get like a lot of them and put them into one. I mean, look at fucking Azure Glow. Although I feel like that was always OP. Even before I started pumping all of my stones into it. But yeah, I feel like it doesn't really make just much of a difference if you just like put one or two in there. So it's kind of just pointless at this point. I don't know. Like if I get some for the Grendel, that'd be pretty hype, but... Because you can't buy those, but yeah. Okay, good. This is just a machine one. Since I'm not fighting as many guys, uh, these will probably be quicker than like the first one. Because the first part of the post game, I was kind of messing around a lot. And yeah, there's only three this time. I don't know why it like... I don't know why they're making it like easier than last time. It's weird. And also, there's three just right next to each other here. Boom, there we go. Oh, yeah. And now I've got to worry about not really having that much uh, CP. I mean, it's a good thing uh, I have a bunch of... Well, I never do this. But look, I've, I've ended up with 99 of these fucking things. God damn, how did I get that many? I don't know, I just never use them. I guess they're pretty good using them like on the field like this. Let's just go fight the boss. Wait. Hold on, is my party looking good? I, uh, I do want Aaron in here. 
Yeah, I'll keep Judith and why not? I'll, I'll give her another chance. Oh, just one of these guys. And we can use Take Zagrendor. JK. And, uh. Why can I not? Oh. I should get enough CP back. Yeah, fuck it, why not? See how much damage this is, so yeah, like, right off the bat, we've nearly got him down like a fifth. I guess we'll spend the rest of this first turn buffing up. Kind of unfair how Zane's gives him a buff and it gives him HP while Aaron's gives him a buff and takes away HP. And Judas just costs a shit ton of CP. Now, I think that is what makes Aaron so good because it's like, to make up for the HP it doesn't cost CP and it like buffs him a lot. It's insanely good. <laughs> You know, let's see if this is any, uh, if this does any good. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that is good. That's really good. Because it's single targeting and it raises the chain by a lot. Also, at some point, Aaron just stopped dodging, which is a shame, but oh well. The van protects him here. Um, look at that damage, fucking hell, Aaron. And you know what, since you might die, I might as well just go for this. Take advantage of this chain. Oh, he's buffing you up. Wow, that's a lot of fucking healing you just did, dude. I don't think the Grendel has anything all cancelling, but oh well. Oh, never mind, we just staggered him. Pretty fucking hype. But I don't have any, uh, that's annoying. I don't have an S boost. I think Van still has a boost, so. Actually, he shouldn't do. I've, I've used it for. Wait, does he actually have a boost? Why does it say he does? I thought I only had it. That's weird, oh well. We'll be able to get back the fucking damage uh, that he healed off with this. You know, let's just go for this. Then I'll switch out Aaron with like Shizna or something. To get as much damage as we can. You know, let's see. Okay, so I swear someone's been telling me that you can do this. You can uh, use this and it'll steal their fucking stab boosts, but I'm pretty sure I did test it. I think it was off screen, but I'm pretty sure it didn't work. It's only for attack bonuses. But yeah, he still got his buff and Judith doesn't have those. God, I hate that attack. I need to get Judith out and heal. Or Aaron. Is, is it this one that's better from the back? Yeah, this one. Yeah, let's just go here. Why not? Spread out my guys a bit for that AoE. Then you can just attack. Let's get Rosette in here. Good, she's in time. Very good. Oh, Judith getting a CP turn. That's pretty good. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Fuck me. Fuck yeah, might as well go for this. I 
Uh, she got Rosette. What the fuck? Rosette just came in. Bro, I'm gonna have to go for this, aren't I? Oh god, don't kill Zane. Okay. Oh, fuck off, Rick. Bro, he might just do that again, though. That'll be annoying. Dude, Zane is fucking weak, bro. I'm not even joking. <laughs> he is not that strong. I might as well go for this. Maybe paralyze him. Hey, we actually did. Let's go, Zane. This guy does actually a lot of damage. Uh, at least Van can take the Grendel next turn. I'm gonna defend. I wanna build up the boost gauge on her turn. Wait, so this is just straight up an AoE. God damn it, dude. You know, in that case, you can come in and uh, heal. If Van doesn't need it. He'll be he'll be taking the Grendel pretty soon. Apparently, he's weak to this. A fucking whale attack. Not bad. Though we know he's gonna heal at least one more time, probably. All right, very good. Yeah, I'm just doing this because I want the chain gauge. When I take the Grendel. Look at that, just 10 hits for free. Wait, did I forget to boost? No, I didn't. I'm, I got it. Wait, actually... Maybe I'll need a Zane to heal Van. Hmm. You can go. Oh fuck! I pressed the wrong. Oh well. I meant to go for the fucking beam one because that builds up the chain gauge pretty nice. Oh well. Still very respectable damage there. He's obviously going to heal this turn though. Oh, does Zane not have a thing? Oh wait, I stole the Zero Arts turn anyway. Reckon I should still uh, heal him. Yep. gonna go for something that hits all of us, isn't he? Oh, these fights are actually annoying. They're pretty hard. Like, they don't have as much health as the final boss, but they definitely do more damage. Oh, I want to fucking all cancel this guy. Boom. Got to fend down, at least. All right, good. Let's just get rid of that. That buff is just kind of harsh. Ooh, reset with a CP turn. I do like that. We can definitely uh, set up a shield with her, maybe. Not even just regular attack. Okay, whatever that was trying to do, uh, we resisted it, so that's good. He's still getting turns as if he's still buffed. God damn it, The more the more shit he does to hit Van, uh, the more you know. The more CP he gets. Also, I'm not having you do this, mate. I don't know what that is, but if I remember right, we can do this. Yeah. This uh, has a secondary effect of stopping him from using uh, 
flopping their charge, which is pretty nice. It also just does a lot of damage, yeah. I feel like Judith would be really good if I had another one of those fucking, uh, things. We might be able to s We live just one more fucking turn. His ass is staggered. Don't go for Judith. Right, fine. Oh, he's fucking feared. Oh, well. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I guess you can, uh... Let's just keep this, uh... Doing as best we can. I maybe should have used the craft there, actually. I forgot to boost! Oh well, at least he's still staggered. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Bruh. You know what, you can defend. Bruh. Come on, I just want Van to get a turn so he can go Grendel on this fucker. Uh, well, Van can uh, stop him from doing that. Yeah, I think even when he's Grendel, he can do that. All right, here we fucking go, boys. Wait, I think he just interrupted him anyway with his regular attack. He must have had a course that did that. Fence down. That down, and then... Which is the one that... I think it's this one. And this isn't gonna kill him, but... I hope he doesn't heal again, that would be really irritating. He's nearly gone there. He's not healing, at least. Well, let's just go all out. Fuck this guy. Ooh, it's been ages since I've used this Ashcraft. I don't think it'll finish him off, it'll definitely get him close. God, I love this escrow. Yeah, it does less than a Silver Gale, god damn it. That's right, you don't touch my girl. Alright, good. I think we can get him here. Boom. 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 Uno. Dos. Tres. Right, how much experience did the guys in the bag get? Okay, well, no cuts seen still, it seems like. Oh, I got one SP. Even though I don't need it anymore, unless they added new rewards to like, bruh, okay, fine, well. So yeah, after the first one, what I did, I just logged out and went to the fucking fishing island, and then there was a hot spring there. Be cool if they added more stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Maybe there's just like a shit ton of them, I don't know. Like these new floors, I mean. What level are the church guys? Oh, they're, they're catching up, kind of. I don't know if it's worth keeping them around. It'll take, them, it'll take too long to do this, I reckon. 
Yeah, so it is nice that they don't make you grind for CP. Not that it would even matter if they did, because you can get it back so quickly from uh, just like going through these uh, areas. Well, anyway, that was a nice video. We got to see Quatra's uh, character event that I skipped before. And we made it through the 11th one of the garden. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you in the next video.